The other way, base hit. Here comes Ty Manny waving him on. Rojas will get to it. No throw to the plate. Mariners have a one nothing lead. Mitch Hanniger with the RBI is 96, and here come the Mariners. 1-1. And Rojas sends a drive out to right field. That ball's got a chance, and that one's going to go. A game-tying solo homer for Jose Rojas. Just like that. That one swing the bat does tie it up. That's a changeup that Rojas hits out. His sixth home run to go along with 14 doubles. Swing and drive. Seawall to continue. And Walsh has just hit a three run homer. Oh my! Wow. Walsh. Did you see the did you see the drop? Did you see the bat drop? Yes. Man. Oh, he knew it. He set it down. We bad. <laughs> Fantastic! Kelnick, Bowers, and Crawford aboard. There's a bouncing ball. Mayfield comes home. It's in time to get him. That's a great under control play by Jack Mayfield, the captain. They're going to take a look at it, but it looked like there was a force out and they got him at home. But, but closer when you slow it down than it looked like in real time. Is he on the plate? That's He's the out. only thing. Biggest pitch of the year here for the Mariners. Three and two, bases loaded. Ciszek, the pitch. Base hit left field. Here comes JP. Bowers scores. JP scores. Mitch Hanniger. What a night. What a night. Mitch Hanniger. Wow. What he's an at all able, to, run. able to lay out some pitches, get the count full. Knows he's going to get the heater. Go mad now to the dugout. It was borderline bottom of the zone, and he barreled it up. He hit it hard in the left field. Oh, in there. Get out! Get down! Get down! It does! Dig it for third is Hanniger. Throw to the base. The no good. Bounces around. Seager all the way to second. Sound that foghorn. One-one pitch. Right at go. Toro. Oh, two. Did he go? Yes, he goes. A Rosarena down on strikes, two away. Good breaking ball. Served to left field. Gallo is there. Gallo makes the play. Three shutout innings for Jamison Tyone. Ground ball. Knocked down by Torres. Gets him. Flavor Torres saves two runs by keeping that out of right field. For the Rays, no runs a hit, no errors, and two men left on base. What a play by Torres. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Peralta likes it. Fan base on the road. This, this is a playoff type atmosphere. Rizzo into short left. Here comes Meadows. Oh, he makes the catch, and the throw back to first will not be in time, but what a grab by Meadows. Coming in from left to grab that ball off the bat of Rizzo for the first out. Popped up. Gonna be a long run. Oh, what a play! And he goes into the dugout. Did he hold on? Yes, he did. Oh, what a play! Now I gotta see if he's okay. Urshela without any regard for his health just came careening down the steps and made the play and held on and Boone so concerned 
ran across the field and into the Rays dugout. The entire Yankee team making its way over to the dugout to take a look. We'll take a look here as Gio approaches the dugout gets it in the webbing of the glove and then tumbles down the stairs that's and running full speed. You're right Michael. He slips going in and mm. then tumbles in like head first. And uh, they're still over there tending to him. And the way baseball is Kenny now yeah. one Ray tried to stop his fall whatsoever and that's just the way the game is. Mm -hmm. But they ran to him right away after they saw that he was hurt. But there was no help there. Oh. I think he stumbled right as he fell. And he's up and he will walk slowly to the Yankee dugout and get a big hand from the crowd. What a play in a huge moment for Gio Urshela. Runner goes. Pitch is a strike and the throw going to be high and he's in there with a stolen base. Number 20 on the year for Randy Arozarena. Scooped it to right field. Judge is there. Judge makes the play and Loisega works out of trouble. No runs a hit. No errors. One man left on base. Loisega. Big reaction, big moment, big out. That's a liner in the left, will be caught by Phillips. Down to his knee and a little roll out there. And Sanchez is out number three. Runner goes, swung on and missed, he got him. Margot strikes out. And the Rays leave a runner at second base. 2-2. Line drive. Here comes Wade. Here's the throw. He's safe. And the Yankees walk off into the postseason. And what a long, strange trip it's been. Bell scoring Mercer second RBI against Boston this weekend one nothing Washington that's one way to get an RBI two nothing Nationals shot out to center field that's deep that's carrying back there she's gone and there's an answer Raphael Devers number 37 he clocks it. And the Red Sox get on the scoreboard. That'll make it two to one. It only traveled 432. Yeah, ask and you shall receive. And he touched that off again. Home run yesterday, followed up with a solo shot again today. Tapper. Pitcher drops it. Throws to first. Gets it out. But the Nats score. 3 1. Alex Avila going to drive in two. Soto, Bell, both scoring. The Nationals lead five to one. That was cool. He chops that one up the middle behind the bag and a play and did not get him as the run comes in to score. They went for the out at second and Iglesias touches home plate to make it five two. Base hit into right center field. Schwarber coming around. He will score easily. Down to third safely is Xander Bogarts, and the Red Sox have strung together three consecutive hits to pull to it in two. He jumped on it. There's a shot to the alley. That's all the way to the wall. Xander is in. Devers coming in. He's going to score. Verdugo with a stinging shot has tied the game at 5 5. He did it. He did it. 3 4 4 on the day. Couldn't come at a better time.
Wyatt Zimmerman took the field alone. Josh Bell came out to hug him. The Red Sox have come out of their dugout. The Nats out of theirs. Davey Martinez limps to hug his favorite Nat. As I mentioned earlier, his family here, his dad Al, the longtime Tiger executive. Tremendous ovation. There's a shot. That one driven to center field. Backing <laughs> up, backing up. It's gone. Home run. There's Finnegan's rainbow right there. I told you he's the man. Is he the man or what? Rafael Devers destroys one to center field, and the Red Sox are in front. Split me. That's what I'm talking about. Nothing but split fingers, and he gets one up, and it's a no doubter again. 0 oh and 2 on Soto, and here it comes. Breaking oh ball struck him out, and the Red Sox have won the top wild card position. They knock off Washington. They sweep the series seven to five, the final. Turner got a fastball up. Darvish thinks it's gone. So do we. See you later. Trey's second first inning homer of this series. And the Nats blast out on top. Gomes up the middle on a low fastball. Soto scoring. Ball bobbled by Grisham. Castro is coming home anyway. And Jan Gomes checks in. Oh, center field. Bell up against the wall. Turner home. Juan Soto heading for third. And Josh Bell is at two balls to center tonight that have both threatened to leave the premises. And the Nats lead 4 0. Castro got a slider over the heart of the plate. Lines out hard to center. Soto coming home, standing up. It's 5 0. And now with the ball loose on the infield, third base for Bell. How about 6 0? Turner to center. Extension. See you later. Two homers in a single. The Nats are on top, eight to nothing. And for a second, I thought it was going to hit the top of the wall and he was going to get a triple. High drive, deep left field for Fernando. Upper deck. 28th home run of the year for Tatis Jr. Padres on the board in the fourth inning. Hits it off Scherzer to boot. Look out. Down goes Myers. That was a slider, and that is ball four. That'll bring in a run from third comes Machado. Camarena to deep right field. Camarena plays it. Slam Diego. Are you kidding me? The Padres pitcher that is brought up from El Paso, the San Diego kid. It's a grand slam. That's yeah. unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Off Max Scherzer. In the air, shallow right. Back is Bell Soto coming in. It's gonna fall. Fans gonna score. It's a one-run game. In the air to center field. Robles going back. It's gonna be over his head. 
What ups the wall from third comes Myers. Oh, this game, this game is tied. Padres trail made nothing. Not anymore. Grisham lines it into right. From third comes Fam. Padres trail made nothing. They walk it off. 9-8 in San Diego. Sending the Friar faithful into a frenzy. Two thousand fifteen with the Toronto Blue Jays. A high drive to left. He tees off, and it is gone. A home run. On cue, Josh Donaldson goes deep, and it's one nothing. Toronto Blue Jays. Brought it out. Hit high and deep to right field. Worker at the wall. Worker looking up, and that baby's gone. We're tied at one. First pitch to Elvis Andrews. Line center field, a base hit. Moreland will trot in to score. He's get a big two out hit from Elvis Andrews, and it's two to one. You know, you finish, oh, oh. and the ball to the backstop, and the A's get another run as Seth Brown slides in head first. It's three to one. Montes made a mistake. And now down the line, it's a base hit. Donaldson owns Frankie Montas. But eyes will score and Donaldson will hold up with an RBI single and it's three to two. Twins have hit more balls hard in the first two plus innings here today. A high drive left field way back and gone a home run. Nelly Cruz puts the twins back in front. But not for a certain number. Center field and that baby's gone. He's done it again. Seth Brown down the right field line, headed for the corner, and that baby's gone. Hit high and deep again to left center field. And over the wall and over the reach of Loriano. Nelson Cruz hits his second of the afternoon. Six home runs on the year. And that gets away, and Buxton will score. And it's seven to six, and the tying run now 90 feet away. And that gets under the glove of Lowry, and Polanco will score the tying run. They put it in play. Beard to hit it hard enough to have it scoop past Lowry. And a grounder to short. And a run scored. 1 0 to Polanco. Slap to left and a base hit. The two out hit they were looking for. Donaldson comes in. And the Twins lead it 9 7. To Ostadio. And a line drive. Base hit to the left field. Polanco around third. He's heading home. Another two out RBI hit. This time from Ostadio. And the stolen base pays off immediately this year that one is driven right center field nobody's going to get it it's going to bring home a pair Lowry's going to hustle for two he's going to make it and it's 10 to 9 and now a blast to left center field Buxton with a diving catch in center oh what a catch by Byron Buxton preserving the lead Line drive, left field. Cave has it. Loriano tags. Loriano is going to come in, and he has tied the game. Oh, high fly, left field and deep. Oh. Going back, Buxton oh. with a home run, and the Twins take a two-run lead. <laughs> he clobbered that one. His third hit of the afternoon. Oh, one pitch, grounded. And it's dropped, and everybody's safe. Wow. Kemp's got to stop at third, get back to the bag. So the new second baseman, Blankenhorn, had a chance to end the game, and he booted it. And the pitch. 
Arise has it. Not an easy play. His throw wide, and the A's are going to win. You got to be kidding me. Kemp scores. Andrew scores, and the luck and everything that's going right for the A's just continues. Unbelievable. An air kept the game going. Another air and two runs score, and the A's continue. What a stretch by the Athletics. And Kite, there was not one hit in the tenth inning. A ground ball up the middle and through into center, and the Rays grab the lead. Franco scores on the base hit by Cruz. And here it comes. Up the middle, base hit. That'll drive in a run. I'm not sure there is anything Yarbrough throws that surprises JD Martinez. 3 2. Reaches out, kisses that one. That one's headed back to the wall. Off the wall. Margot couldn't make the play. Here comes Vasquez. He's rounding third. He's going to score. And he's going to do it standing up. And the Red Sox lead it 2 to 1. Swing a high fly again to the wall. Cut off the monster. Moder is in to score. Schwarber down to third. And it's another double. That's what you call a hustle double. And a base hit in the center field. Schwarber in a score. Renfro will be held as the throw comes into third base. And the Sox lead it four to one. Down the line. That's going to keep on bouncing. Renfro will score. Martinez will score. Devers held it third. And the Red Sox are piling on against Yarbrough. They now lead it six to one. They pass the baton. Swings and lets a high fly to center. Margot fighting the sun a bit. Makes the play. Raphael will tag. He will come in to score. Dahlbeck down to third. And that'll make it a seven to one. Sky back into center field for Dugo. Just on the track. And cannot make the catch off his glove. Cruz is going to go all the way to third, and the throw is high, and he's going to come around to score. So Walls, Rosarena, and Franco all score, and Cruz, who is at third with that throw high, circles them all. And just like that, it's a two run game. To liner into left. That ball's going to be in there for a base hit. Here comes Franco in to score. And the Rays will admit it first and third, and they trim the deficit to only one. Line shot of base hit. In to score is Modern. Red Sox a little more breathing room now. Eight to six. Second RBI today for Hunter. That's up the middle. Base hit into center field. And the Rays will get a run. Reaching out of Rosarena driving in the run to make it 8 7. Swing a high deep drive. That one headed toward that bullpen. That is back there. Gone! He did it again. Jonathan Arauz will touch them all. How about this kid? That ball well tagged and will get out of here. A one two pitch and boy did he lift that one out Nelson Cruz with his 28th home run of the year and it is a one run game and 98 is sky back into deep center for Dugo to the wall it's going to be over his head and off the wall as he was looking into that glove for the ball now trouble picking it up by Iglesias and Meadows is going to try to score and around the bases he goes inside the park and this game is tied. Bruce shoots it down to first and that ball is past Cordero into right. Here comes a Rosarena. He's going to score throw to second and Cruz gets in there under the tag. Cruz shot that one the other way and got it by. Cordero, the first baseman. And a liner into right. That's going to be in there for a base hit. 
Cruz will be headed to the plate, and he is in there safely. Ball loose. The Rays tack on another run. And a shot into right field, a base hit. Now it's a one run game. You never know. One two again. And a chopper charged at short. Throw to first, and this game is over. Torres hits it hard, and it goes past the shortstop. Garcia into left field. Sanchez being waved home the throw. Not in time. Sanchez scores, and the Yankees take a 1-0 lead. Maldonado drives one to right field. Back on it goes Judge. He's at the track. He'll watch it go. We've got a visitor for Omar Lopez. As he'll slap hands with Maldonado after the machetes. Sixth home run of the year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. LaCastro drives that to right field. Tucker back looking up. And it's gone. The Ithaca Bomber deposits one out to right. And gives the Yankees the lead back. To put these guys away. Torres smokes that to left center field. Stanton had a limbo out of the way. But he is going to have plenty of time to come around and score. It is a big ribby single from Glaber Torres, and the Yankees take a 3-1 lead. Tucker drives one high and deep to right field, and forget about this one. Kyle Tucker, home run number 15 on the season. The Astros back within one. It's 3-2. Urshela grounds that into right field, a base hit. Torres being waved around. Here's the throw home. It's not in time. Torres scores. A much-needed insurance run, and the Yankees' lead is 4-2. The 0-2. Hit in the air to left field and deep. That ball is gone! Gary Sanchez delivers a three-run hammer. For a run in that Frankie Montas start. He drives one deep to left field all the way back. LaCastro, he'll watch this one bounce off the wall. Two runs will score. Chaz McCormick into second base. We have ourselves a 7-4 game with nobody out in the ninth. Toro sends one to right field. Well hit. Aaron Judge back near the wall. Reaches up. It's off the wall. Coming in around third will be Chaz McCormick. He's going to score. It's now 7-5. And the tying run will be at home plate after the RBI double by Toro. In the bottom of the ninth. Jose tries one deep to left field. LaCastro looks up. You've got to be kidding me. Six run, bottom half of the night. Altuve's done it again. A three run home run for the second time this year against Chad Green. I don't know, but that one kind of gave me a buzz, TK. Maybe the most improbable comeback in the major leagues this year. Unbelievable. Late tonight, one for seven in the series. Ooh. And McCutcheon puts a charge in a ball and sends it to deep center field. And that one's gone! We talked about McNeil not handling the 2-0 pitch. Well, this is how you handle a leadoff hitter, 2-0 pitch. 2-0, drops the hammer, foot down, conviction, and that had the sound. Hey, Pilar lines that one right back up the middle. Here comes Don Smith. Throw to the plate! Is it time to get him? I mean, a lot to unpack here. Quinn with the great approach. End of throw, but focus on how he attacks this baseball with his footwork. Comes at it, goes through it, through Hoskins. Perfect cutoff, man. On the ground, back to Eflin. Knocked it down, throws wildly to second, and a run scores. Two to one Mets. Here's Didi now. Lean into it. Got him.
Small by small ball by Harper. Big long ball by Didi. We talk about right man, right spot, a contact guy. Indeed, the fastball here, middle in. Didi knows exactly what to do with it. One two to Pilar. Hit well to left field, and that one's gone. Wow. Kevin Pilar's first as a Met has tightened it up to a one-run ball game. Foot lead and the one-two to Peraza. Shot past Hoskins. That ball laid him up. VR to third. VR oh. headed home. We are tied. What could have been an ending line drive double play ends up being watching the whole way here. Good base running. Doesn't need a third base coach. Stays on it, stays on it. Great read with Toss and the birthday boy with the oh. slide. Oh, man. 3 1. Ball four. A bases loaded walk, and the Mets go back out on top by a run. First pitch to Alonzo, headed for the gap in right center field, and that might clear the bases. They're going to try it with all three. A bases loaded three run double for Pete Alonso and the Mets have broken it open in the eighth. Years of frustration after the World Series title a number of years ago 2015 hit back. That's hit hard and into the gap in right center field. Quinn can run. He's going to get into third base easily on this ball. And RBI triple for Roman Quinn. It's an eight to five ball game. Diaz started the inning with a four pitch walk to Gregorius. 2 1 pitch to Hoskins. Hit well to right. And it's gone. A game time three run homer. Santa Maria. They're going to take another look at this. The call on the field is Homer. Edwin Diaz is shell shocked. There's some tricky boundaries out there with that railing. Did it hit a seat or did it hit the top of the railing? Oh my goodness, oh, wow. they're saying it hit the top of the wall. Not a home run. Boy, there is so much going on here. And, it, you know, Reese Hoskins was upset that that homer was called a double after the review. The call after this ball was hit was three run homer. All boundary calls are reviewable. They took another look and decided that it did not hit a seat. Maybe get yourself a cheap ribby. That'll do it. Familia holds. What a finish tonight. Gosselin drives that one right. It's well struck toward the wall. Tracking and gone. Line drive, a base hit to left field. LeMayu scores. They'll hold Boyd at third. It's an RBI single for Stanton. Yankees on the board. It's 2-1 Angels. That one's through for base hit. Sanchez will stop at third. It's an RBI single for Torres. And the game is tied at two and still nobody out. One, two. Broken bat, slow roller to window. He'll take the out at first. A run scores. Yankees lead three to two on the RBI ground out. And the 3 0. He walked him on four pitches to force in a run. And the Yankees now lead four to two, and that is going to do it for Shohei Otani. Grounded inside first and down the right field line. One run scores. Two run score. Here comes Gardner. He'll score. It's a bases clearing double for LeMayu, and the Yankees are pouring it on. They lead seven to two. Rocket shot down the line it goes, and the Angels make some noise. Scoring easily as Iglesias. They'll stop Ward at third. It's a couple of bases, and one more run back, seven to three. All the shots as far as pausing the game. Walsh, it's a high fly ball. Down off the end of the bat, but still traveling up, over, and out of here. Jared Walsh works his way back on track. Home run number 19 on the year. The Angels slowly but surely.
2 1. High fly ball, right field, going back Ward. On the track at the wall. See ya. A home run for Gardner. He gives that one a ride. Deep right field. We are tied. The Angels come all the way back. Grand salami time for Walshy. Second home run of the game. And Walshy, he knew he got it. He break a ball. Another home run on a non-fastball for Jerry Walsh. What a tremendous bat flip, by the way, on that one, too. Grand slam time. Second home run of the game for Walsh. The dugout loving it. Pumped up, Walshy. Renhefo lines it to left field. It's down for a base hit. One angel, another comes on down. They add a pair. The Halos lead it 10 to 8. Luis Renhefo, and we'll win this game. That one down the line, yeah, that's, that's a fair. fair ball. That's going to be some running for Renjifo. Butterfield's going to send him onto the plate. Here he comes. He'll score standing up. Another halo run. What a gut check win for the Angels tonight. They were down 7-1. to one. They're One, two is a swing and a miss. Goes around that time, no doubt. One down. Swing and a miss, and striking out is A.J. Pollock. Second K for Snell. One out. In right. Fly ball. Struck well to deep left. Myers going back. At the wall. He makes the catch. Right in front of the wall. And on the warning track. Myers rolls it over down the third baseline. Going to be a tough play and no play. Padres score in from third comes Cronenworth. Didn't hit it a ton. In fact, because it was hit so slowly, Justin Turner could do nothing with it. And that's strike three in the third strikeout for Blake Snell of the night. That is strike three. Bueller strikes out. It's four strikeouts for Blake Snell. Swing and a miss, and he strikes out Taylor. That's strikeout number five for Blake Snell. Two down in the fifth inning. Two and two to Will Smith. Swing and a miss. Snell gets him again. Back-to-back -back Ks to end a one, two, three fifth inning. And Blake Snell absolutely brilliant here tonight again. That's strike three. Strike three call. Snell Zilla has got it going on tonight. San Diego. Another 2 2. And his 100th pitch of the night. He strikes out Hosmer with the curve. Number eight for Walker Bueller. And a swing and a miss. He strikes out Taylor. It's three strikeouts in a row, nine and all for Snell. This is the Blake Snell the Padres signed up for. Snell has not lost a thing. The velocity is still there. The break on the slider may be a little inconsistent, but still real good. Smith hits a fly ball, deep left field. This game is tied! Will Smith saves the day, and he does it again in a high fastball. He tomahawked this one. It's 122. Swing and a miss, and he strikes out Cody Bellinger. It's 10 strikeouts. McKinney with a base hit into center field. Billy does it. Taylor's in to score. Sweet mercy. 2-1 in the 15th. Been on the bench for 14 and a third innings. Comes up and looks at one pitch. And hits a line drive to left center. First and third for Trey Turner. And he grounds one into left field. The floodgates have opened. Smith in to score on a base hit from Trey Turner. Two pitches, two runs. Fly ball, deep right field off the bat of Fernando. That ball is back and it is gone! Fernando Tatis Jr. is tied to score in the bottom of the 15th inning. El Nino. That'll make you forget about your 0 for 6. Looping a blast. Tied at three. 
Camarena's 1 2. Pollock hammers the ball, deep center field, forget about it, gone! Two run blast! Dodgers back in front! In 16th inning, and a 2 2 pitch from Shane Green is hit in the ground left side, backhand Seeger, that does it! What a night! What a ride! And a 5 3 win for the Dodgers in 16 innings. Trying to knock in a run or two here. And he drives one. Left center field, hit well, nobody's going to get it, and it's off the wall. One run scores, two runs are going to score, and the A's grab an early 2-0 lead. Yeah, and this is a team that he hasn't had much success against. This might help, though, deep to left field, and there it goes. And boy, is that a good sign for a guy who has been due as Teoscar Hernandez ties the game. Have it over to the left if he could. And he lines one, fair ball. Into the right field corner, Harrison will score. Marte's digging around third. They're going to wave him home. Here comes the throw to the plate, and it is late. Marte scores, and the A's lead 4 2. Kemp hits one high in the air toward right field. That's Hernandez near the wall, and that baby is gone. 6 to 2, the A's lead Kemp homers for the sixth time this year. That ball's hit up the middle, base hit center field. Olsen will score. Lowry will go to third stop there. Matt Chapman with his second run scoring hit. He's got three RBIs, and it's now 7-2, to the A's lead. Kemp grounds it into right field, and that's a base hit. Lowry will score. Chapman to second, and another big hit for the Athletics. This one belongs to Tony Kemp. He has a three RBI game, and now it's 8-2. to two. And he's got another base hit. Valera around third, and he will come in to score. RBI single for Vladdy, and it's eight to three. Yeah, but Vladdy's just taking what the pitcher's given him, man. He's been swinging the bat very well of late. Three two again. Ball four to force in a run, and it's eight to four. And the batter is Lourdes Gurriel Jr., representing the tying run. From out of nowhere, the Blue Jays score six runs here in the bottom of the eighth to tie the game. Two outs and nobody on. And they just never gave up. Marcana, 0 for 3. He walked and scored in the sixth. And that one is lined down the left field line. And that baby is gone. Canna with a two run shot into the left field corner and the A's lead. Well, he was able to get the head out on one of those high octane fastballs. Again the 2 2. Fastball hit high and deep to left field. And the Blue Jays win it. One of the most dramatic comebacks we have ever seen here at Rogers Center. Down eight to two in the eighth with two outs. Correa hits the grand slam. Gravick Valera reaches base for a second time. George Springer pits his second double. And Marcus Simeon with a three run home run beats his former team with a career high 34th home run. What a ball game. That one fooled Will Smith, and now Crawford's at third base. We, we almost see it every game. Two up, two down, second inning. Here's Matt Beatty. Beatty lifts one down the line to right, pretty deep into the corner. Yastrzemski going back, it keeps on going. It is gone. A Superman effort from Yastrzemski, but the ball kept on flying and found the seats to tie the game. 
two one two two go got jammed Wade is coming home and the tag he is out at home plate. Wow <laughs> wasn't that easy. <laughs> Posey finally found him. He hits that one high and deep to right field Mookie Betts going back it is gone. Another great at bat for Steven Duggar. It's his third home run of the year. Two to one Giants. First and third two gone. And he yanks it by Crawford to tie the game. Chris Taylor comes through with two gone in the fifth. Two two. To Crawford. Fly ball. Left field to Sugo. Down and makes the catch. Running toward left center. A step in front of the wall. A bit of a leap and a terrific catch. Two tonight with a walk. Deep. Sutsugo at the wall and goodbye. That is the first hit for Buster Posey in his career against Blake Trinan. And it's a tie breaking three run homer. Tenth home run of the season for Buster. Wow. What a moment. 1 0. Fly ball. Left field. And deep. Hoffman looks up and it's gone. A three run pinch hit home run. Austin Barnes. High five. Game is tied at five. Barnes with the pinch hit home run. His second home run of the year. And the last position player available for Dave Roberts in the ball game. Austin Barnes. Maybe the most unlikely of all the Dodgers to be the guy to hit the home run to tie it. And this one is caught by Chalkman. He robbed him. Albert Pujols came that close and he may just be finding out right now that that was not a home run. Mike Chalkman keeps the Giants alive in this one. Well Austin Barnes stuns the Giants and Mike Talkman just stuns the Dodgers. I mean complete extension and pockets it right in the sweet spot. Chalkman will lead it off in the tenth inning having that runner at second base right center field that's going to get it done noisy up with it Duggar will score easily and the Giants are back ahead six to five Giants would take their chances with a line drive here the one one that one is hit to right center field and very well hit sprinting back and over the head of noisy it's a base hit up against the bottom of the wall Coming around third is Wade. He'll score. Here comes Yastrzemski, and he scores. Into second with a double. Evan Longoria, 8-5 to five Giants. Max Muncy is on deck. He would be next. There is Talkman, and the ball game is over. The Giants, they had to win it two different times. The Giants with the three-run homer from Posey in the eighth. Correa drives one deep right center field towards the Astros bullpen and gone. Carlos Correa hits a deep home run to right center field. The Astros take a two to nothing lead. In the left field, Bam broke back. Now he comes in. Straw with great speed. He will score on a sack fly by McCormick. His second sacrifice fly of the series, and the Astros lead three to nothing. Alex drives one to left field. That'll be down for a hit. Bounces off the wall away from Pham. Stubbs will score. Altuve to third. Alex Bregman an RBI double. It's 4 0. Ground ball right side. Side slowly hit. Cronenworth bobbles, and that's going to cost a run. Routine ground ball to Jake Cronenworth. And that cost the Padres a run. Tatis swinging 3-0, grounds one to the shortstop area. It's Altuve who fires to first. They get the out to run scores. In from third comes Caratini. 
Around the bunt. Bunt is down. Taylor Jones will score. Garrett Stubbs gets the first third bunt play down, and the Astros regain a five-run lead. It's now 6-1. to one. Perfectly executed. Safety squeeze with runners at first and third. And it's into right field. A base hit for Hosmer. Machado is going to be waved around. He will score. And the Padres make it 6-2 to two now. They get their second run. Grounded left side. Correa's going to first, and it's late. Run will score. In from third comes Cronenworth, and it's now 6-3. to three. Fernando lifts it in the air. Foul ground. First base, Wade Jones by the seats, and he can't make the catch. Falls backwards and cannot make the grab. The backspin fooled him. Tying run of the plate for the Padres. And a 1-1 to Fernando. Fernando hits one in the air down the left field line. It is headed towards the pole. It is headed onto the tracks. It's a three-run home run. History in Houston for Fernando Tatis Jr. With two outs in the ninth, the Padres have tied it up 6-6. Six to six. Unbelievable. He just sensed it, especially with the mistake to Jones. Gets another opportunity. This team's relentless. On the ground and going to second for one. On to first. It'll be a double play as Hosmer scores. So they elect to go for the DP, allowing the run to come in. There's a base hit towards left field. That'll score a run. Tucker ties the game. Correa to second base. RBI double. We're not enough at seven in extras. Machado grounds one through the right side into right field. A base hit. From third base comes Kim, and the Padres take an 8-7 lead. Manny Machado delivers in the 11. Ball gets away. Here comes Straw. We're tied at eight. Chaz McCormick draws a walk. Looked like a catchable pitch that got, gets away from Caratini. And Straw, for the second time this year, an extra inning scores on a pitch that gets away from the catcher. Myers hits a fly ball to right field pretty deep. Tucker back at the wall. He leaps and it's gone. Will Myers hits a three-run home run, and the Padres take an 11-8 lead in the 12th inning. Opposite field poke for Will Myers. And the Padres take an 11-8 lead in this epic game from Houston. Jones strikes out, and the Padres win. The Padres in 12 innings. Take game two of the series, a three-run home run for Will Myers in the top half of the 12th inning. In the first six games. There's a base hit into right field. Machado will score, and the Padres strike first. Betts boots it in right, and Profire will get to third. Mookie Betts with a bobble in right field. Padres have a run, lead it one to nothing. Hits one hard, deep right center. Luke Rayleigh ties the game with his first career big league home run. Trying to hold back the smile. In the air to center field. Taylor going back. And Nando's left the building. Fernando Tatis Jr. returns to the Padres lineup and lifts it out of the yard. 2-1 Padres. Ground ball. Diving stop. Tatis goes to second. The throw is wild. The game is tied. Muncy's given the wave. He heads for the plate. The Dodgers take the lead. Taylor with a game-tying base hit. Tatis with a throw that opens the door for the go-ahead run. McKinstry chases, it kicks away, and the Dodgers add another. He's going to reach, and Taylor's going to score. A wild pitch on strike three, and it's 4-2. Chop to third, could be two. Second for one, it'll get away. Run will score. Coming in from third is Kim, and it's a one-run game. 
McKinstry inks a liner towards the right field corner. Myers won't get there. It's off the wall. Here comes Will Smith. Cronenworth's throw to the plate is not in time. And an RBI double for Zach McKinstry. Profile lines it to left. That'll get into the corner. Scoring is Machado. Myers is going to try and score all the way from first. And he will. It's tied at five. Church and Profar driving them both in. Knievel missing with the breaky ball. Turner pulls it up the middle, base hit left center. Profar grabs it, Betts headed for the plate. He'll throw in the second. Justin Turner comes through. And the Dodgers lead 6-5 in the ninth. Hosmer on the ground, and right field. Machado scores, 6-6. Six six. Eric Hosmer ties this game. Unbelievable. Mateo gets hit with a first pitch. Like he hasn't been hit enough lately. Here we go. And now they're going to talk. And now we're going to fight. An epic battle tonight of two heavyweights, and a discussion starts after Mateo was hit. Santana said something, and the bench is empty. Another 2 2. slider and locked him up. He beats the odds and gets out of the jam to extend the game to the 11th. Dodgers looking for their first extra innings run. And this their fourth try. Seager gets into a ball. Way back there. It's gone. First pitch of the 12th. A two-run shot from Corey Seager. Dodgers 8, Padres 6. The Padres have had the Dodgers on the ropes. The champ has been on the ropes, but you got to knock them out. They've been punching at each other all night. Flat out error. That's up the middle, base hit. Zach McKinstry drives home Turner. Station to station, 9 6. Really grounds on to first. Hosmer feeds Cronenworth his late covering, and it's 10 6. 0 2. You're driving home. That will do it. What a roller coaster ride. Game of the year over the first couple weeks of the season. In 12 innings, the Dodgers 11, the Padres 6. Gene Segura, after a four hit game yesterday, goes to work on the first pitch tonight and rips it into the left field corner. And that is a home run. It went over the fence. On the first pitch, Gene Segura hits a homer. And a shot hit towards second will score a run. Give Bohm the RBI, 19th. Run batted in. That brings in Bryce Harper. They cash in the base on balls after the homer. And he lines it out toward right center field. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Pache is able to handle it. Miller scores easily. And going to third base and holding there is Herrera. It's an RBI single for McCutcheon. Swing and a high fly ball headed for the bullpen. Herrera as far as he can go. It's another homer for Freeman against Philly. That snaps the longest hitless streak of Freddie's career. It was 0 for 22. And the Braves are on the board. It's a 3 1 game. Here's the profile and courage for Acuna. Let's see if he can get some payback. Pitch. And that off his hand. Helmet slam. They go inside twice. This time it hits Ronald on the left hand. George Poulos, the brave certified athletic trainer, is out to look at Acuna, who is grimacing in pain and bent at the waist behind the plate. Immediately went to the Braves dugout and then to the clubhouse, where I'm sure they will take a very, very close look. So Acuna hit by the pitch. The Braves have first and second, two outs. Freddie Freeman's coming up. Swing and a high fly ball, right center field, headed to the bullpen, Pablo! He does it again. 
The walk and then the wallop and look at the Phillies. They're stunned. The Braves down to the last strike twice. Get a walk from Adrianza and then Pablo Sandoval ties the game with a two run pinch hit homer. Can you believe it? Looks like they're on the same page. And the one two pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him. How about Brandon Kinsler coming on and sending this game to the 11th inning. And a high fly ball out toward right center field. It is off the base of the wall. A run will score. Nick Maton comes through again. It's an RBI double lefty on lefty and the Phillies take the lead four to three. How about that? As this one chopped off the plate. Didi's got it. Throw to first. Throw it away. Here comes Pache. He slides in safely. Baltimore chop. One of those goes the Braves way. Ground ball back toward the middle. They're coming home. The throw is wide. One runs in. Here comes McCutcheon. Nobody's covering home. He scores. The Phillies take a two run lead as the Braves start throwing the baseball all over the diamonds. Shot the other way, base hit it to right field. Napple score. Harper stops at second. It's 7 4 Phillies. And still nobody out here in the 12th inning. Braves have hit four grand slams. Line drive left field. That's down for a hit. That'll score two. Streaking toward third. Swanson. They're going to wave him. Here he comes. They missed the cutoff man. It's a double and we're tied. Got the slider. Even though he had him out in front of it, hooked it perfect. And Dansby, great running. He was going the whole time when Watch saw McCutcheon bobble in left field. Kept waving him. Adrianza was down to two strikes earlier. Driven to right field. That ball is down, and the Braves have won it. The chase is on. And Adrianza and the Braves somehow, some way, win this one in 12. What a game. Thirty years ago, thirty, on the other side of that corn, we filmed a movie that stood the test of time. Tonight, thanks to that enduring impact that that little movie had, it's allowed us to come here again. But now, we're on a field that Major League Baseball made. It's perfect. We've kept our promise. Major League Baseball has kept its promise. The dream's still alive. There's probably just one question to answer. Is this heaven? I don't think I heard you. Is this heaven? Yes, it is. Good luck today. Here's the 0-2 pitch. That is shot into left field. Back at the wall. It is gone. And the first home run in MLB history in Iowa belongs to Jose Abreu. 
One two pitch. That is smoked into right and into the corner. Aaron Judge puts the Yankees on top with a three run shot here in the third. It's kind of surreal to be honest. Here's a shot down the left field line by Anderson. Lead runner Angle's going to dig for third, and now they bring him around as McEwing waves him home, and it's an RBI double to make it a one run game. Two on, two out, and here's one down the right field line. At the wall, it is gone. And right on cue, Jimenez goes the opposite way. A three run shot, and the White Sox are back on top. It's like it's like when players take a whole season. Here's Zavala flying one into right back at the wall. It is gone. Wow this stadium is working perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Two run shot into right. Here's one down the line off the bat of Gardner. It is gone. Brett Gardner has made this a three run ball game as the corn out and right gobbling up some baseballs here tonight a rocket. A swing and a miss struck him out and Kopech does the job here in the sixth. In 1979 2 2 pitch a swing and a miss and that ends the inning. Puffin and Puffin with a count two and one on Aaron Judge. This ball is way out of here. One run game. Second of the night, 25 for the year for big number 99. Watch out if he gets hot. This was super close to being caught. Anderson hits it in the air to right. Back at the wall, and the White Sox win.